Hey, in this example, we are finding the derivative of the function 1 over x, and we're going to use the definition of derivative, or first principles, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is the limit is h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by x plus h minus x, which is essentially y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, so it's slope, except you can see here that uh, the x's will cancel, so we're just left with h. Um, but this is nothing more than slope formula between two points that are infinitely close together on the same curve, which in this case is 1 over x. Okay, enough. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is going to be 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x all over h. Uh, I suggest you do a common denominator here. So let's go ahead and do x uh, x over x and x plus h over x plus h. Don't forget your limit. Doesn't mean anything without it. Okay, and so we'll get x minus a minus x minus h all over x squared plus x h all over h. Okay, make sure you do that very carefully. x squared plus x h minus to the x minus to the h. All right, keep going. Limit is h approaches 0. x minus x goes away. So left with minus h all over x squared plus x h all over h. But I'm going to rewrite this as multiply by 1 over h, multiply by 1 over h. So then I have 1 over h right here. Okay, that will cancel. Okay, almost there. So now you can see that these will cancel, and I'll be left with the limit, so h approaches 0, of minus 1 over x squared plus xh. Now we can substitute in h as 0, because before, like always, you can't substitute it in right from the start, because you'll do, be dividing by 0, which we cannot do. So now let's substitute in 0, and we're left with negative 1 over x squared, which means the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. You can even write that more appropriately. f prime of x is equal to negative 1 over x squared. 